right by where I was thinking about putting a setup earlier in the season. It's a big thicket down here and got this, the big troll that comes down the deer always funnel up and it's over a little ways. And I don't know why I'm not over there, but I will be tomorrow. Going over and hanging my tree saddle. Setting it up over there to hunt coming up those draws. Crosses over to another thicket. Then you got the, the ridge sides I can see real good, so. We'll see. Guess we'll see you later. Got a couple geese that are gonna be very happy here shortly. As soon as we get walking down there by that pond. Go up our logging road here, go out this ridge, and then we're watching this big thicket over here. We determine where we're going to move that tree saddle once we get a good check of the wind here. Alright, so here we are, we're over at the spot. I usually sneak right down this ridge top right here and set up and gun. And they'll come out and come right up the side of this draw. And it brings them up and right around and come through here. Or they'll come across and come up that draw. My tree saddle set was right there. For example, I wouldn't want to access the property with the wind blowing in my face this way and blow all the scent right into the deer coming up and then come get in. That's like a vacation home which has no effect on the deer for archery. Climb in and get ready for a good day. I feel like it's going to be a good day. Thirty minutes later.
มแมแมแ
doe down here come out of the thicket a little bit ago. And she just ran around the ridge. After about 15, 20 minutes went by, she ran across the ridge over here, went back down in and came back around. And then I saw uh, the way she was behaving. I knew she was getting chased. So I looked back and I saw him coming. I tried to get around the tree here. And then he was going out, he was heading out the ridge. He thought that's where she went. I hit my grunt call a couple times, as you saw. He turned and came right back. <coughs> I think he was out to the camera right there when I shot him, but I let him have it. He went up there and he bedded down. He was, you could tell his head, and he got up, he was real wobbly, and then he went over the hill. So I'm thinking what I did is I clipped probably the bottom of his lungs or his heart, and it'll take him just a little bit to die. So we're going to sneak down. I'm going to go ahead and back to the truck, back out. Got to give him time, it's 3 o'clock. Probably give him to about 5 or so. <laughs> Sneak back in here. And uh, look for him. Alright folks, it's the next morning. Um, got my dad with me, JW. Hey Steven's folks. Steven's family outdoors. We're heading over to trail this deer. Uh, went back and reviewed the, reviewed the footage over there with Dad, and we, we determined, I believe, the shot was just a little bit back and low. I think I clipped out the liver. Um, possibly clipped along, not sure. He was really, uh, really hurting. So he bedded down, as you st you'll see on video, and he got up and he, and he went over the hill real slow, so I just backed out. So I'm hoping we go in. It'll be right over the hill when we get there. So we'll see you when we get there, and uh, hopefully put our uh, hands, on, hands on some antlers. Wind blows a lot of these old dead snags down and can rip your muffler loose or punch your oil pan or whatever. Of course, in my truck, it goes right over it because I'm higher. So he's got this sissy dodge. <laughs> got that out of your nose. All right, folks, we're up here on site. We'll creep out this ridge to where my tree saddle's set up at. And uh, hopefully we'll pick up on this blood trail. All right, here we are. This is where he was standing. He came in last night. Uh, yesterday, I came in and uh, I moved my tree saddle. The deer come up out of, if you look down here to my you're right. You see this nice draw right here. Just on the, on the left side of that draw right here, coming around, they still come around that big thicket down there. They come around, follow right around the top of this draw. And you'll actually see on this video, you can actually see my video if you watch that buck actually came right around like that's playing. That up an hour and a half before he came in. He came in, he came around, he came right here. And I ranged, I range find at 18 yards. I did a range find at him. And uh, he came up around. And uh, I grunted. As you heard on the video, I was grunting at him. Just tried to get him. He grunted back. He was on a doe. He chased the doe out through the ridge there and he lost her. She was way ahead of him. She just, she went down through the like, like hot, a hot, old hot doe would do. And it was windy so he couldn't hear her. So he came up and he went all the way out through here. And I hit my grunt call pretty good. And he came right back again and came right up through here. I shot him. And uh, he went straight up through here. We got some good blood instantly. And uh, unfortunately, he came back across back to ground. And I thought he was going to come back around through here. So I panned my camera at wide angle down this way. And uh, instead, he came right up through here. And I had to come over the tree with the bow. And uh, if I let him get any further this way, it would be hard for me to get the shot out of the saddle with him, the way the tree is. So I stopped him and I shot and he had done what I can. But I instantly got him on him, as you see, for the rest of the way. I shot him here. And if you look right here, there's the shot. I mean, the instantaneous blood. 
Um, instantaneous good blood right into me here. We've been camera rolling for the whole trail here. We've not went anywhere except here because this is all new, new news to us. I'm bedded down right up here on this big dead tree. He ran this big dead tree and he stood for a while. You'll see once again when you've seen on the footage how he did that. So I, I'm not even in there to see how much blood is here. We got good blood so far. Good blood. Good blood. I suspect he's right over that no ray over there laying somewhere. some liver blood. He's got some good blood. I mean, he definitely cannot go too far. It's pretty dark.
that he didn't go far at all, did he? Did not go far at all. Look at him. Those uh, coyotes, huh? Coyotes had their way with him last night. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, folks, here he is. Uh, like I say, on the camera, he's no monster, but you know what? We've got, what, three days left? Three days and two tags to fill. And uh, he's a decent little deer. I don't know how in the green earth he's, he ran that far. Do you, Dad? And kept on that. I mean, I center punched him with a rage broadhead right where you want to. And it came out. Look lower on the other side. It came out. Yeah, let me, let me roll him over to show you. I mean, I lift up his leg to let you see it. It, it entered here. And uh, you see it right there? It came out right there. Uh, perfect. Now, how... How this deer, as you see on the footage, how he did all that. What is that, 150? Yards, probably. How he got up and down so much like he did is beyond me. There's no doubt I had to take out some lung, right through lungs. And yeah, he's a youngish deer too. Yeah. So, like I say, you know, tickled with him. Get some footage laid down. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the coyotes had their way with him there. They had to leave him, so, because last night, uh, the way he was behaving, it was 50-50. You know, I was thinking maybe liver. Uh, the blood was draining down his side right here, so it looked like we weren't sure. We backed out. He was dead last night. He was probably dead within the hour. Probably before you got out of the tree. Yeah, when he came over the ridge, he probably was done. And uh, but the way he was behaving, man, told me to use experience and back out and don't push push him. You know, it's not worth losing him. But when in doubt, back out. Well, coyotes were grateful. Yeah, they will have to come up here in January and call them in. Yeah, they enjoyed his whole whole rump back there. Took all my rump meat away from me. So. Yeah. They left me the best part of the deer there, right here. Tenderloin. The old tenderloins are still in there, so. 